Hey yarn friends, it's me Kayla and I thought I would do the 10 non-yarny things about me video. So, I had to think a long time to come up with 10 things that, um, that I haven't talked about in videos. <laughs> and plus it's just hard to think of 10 things about myself that somebody might even want to know. <laughs> But anyway, I come up with 10 things. Some of you may not want to know. Some of them may not be interesting. I don't know. Let's see. So, number one. And I have a book here so I can um, look down and read my stuff. <laughs> my mind is shot. So, anyway, number one. You know, they say that you can get just about anything at Walmart. And that is true. Because I got my husband at Walmart. Yes, that is true. I got Jody at Walmart. <laughs> Um, I, I worked in the snack bar and he worked in the pet department. This was when I first graduated high school. Like I graduated in May and then like in June, I started to work at Walmart in the, in the snack bar. And so I met Jody. He would come for lunch to the snack bar and order a barbecue sandwich and chips. And so when I would see him coming, I would just go ahead and make that barbecue sandwich because that's what he was going to order. He later said that some days he didn't want a barbecue sandwich, but I had already made it. So <laughs> by the time he got up there, so he had to have a barbecue sandwich. And we had just chit-chatted a little bit when he would come to the snack bar to get lunch, you know, nothing big. Um, we didn't talk about anything personal or anything like that, just chit-chat about our day or something, you know. But I just had a feeling for, about him. I just knew it in my soul that he was going to be my husband. And um, I don't know. I just knew it. And so one day, a um, a pastor friend of mine, who was, um, she had just known me all my life. She was an older lady who had known me all my life. And she came in the store and I saw her when she came in and so I went over there to her and was talking to her and then I was like hey sister Diane do you want to go see my husband and she's like what I mean she knew I wasn't married or anything <laughs> and so I took her over there and we passed by the pet department and there was Jody over there working and I said hey Jody and he's like oh hey and so I told her that's who I'm gonna marry and um sure enough that's who i married now jody's version of the story is have you ever watched norbit where respucia goes up to norbit and says do you have a girlfriend and he says no and she says well you do now that's jody's version of the story that i <laughs> that i was like do you have a girlfriend and he said no and i said well you do now so Anyway, I did try to return him once at Walmart. Uh, we went in, and the greeter was standing there with a little um, gun thingy that they would tag. This was back in the day. They would tag your merchandise you was bringing back with this little bright colored sticker. And we went in. I grabbed Jody's arm, and I was like, here, I got to return. And, you know, the man that was the greeter, that he knew us, and he was like, oh, you can't return him. He's a non-refundable, you know, so... Anyway, so I had to keep him because they wouldn't take him back. So 20, to, this year we've been married 29 years from my Walmart man. <laughs> that was way back in the day and um, we got married in 90 and that was in 89. So we dated about two years before we got married. Okay, so number two is that I used to be an artist and participate in art shows. I um, painted and just um, all kinds of paintings, <laughs> landscapes, portraits, animals, um, abstracts, just all kinds of things. And I enjoyed participating in art, sh art shows and displaying my art in different places. And um, I had my art in several stores or boutiques and stuff. And so I would sell pieces every now and then. Um, you know, I wasn't making a killing off of it, trust me. Um, <laughs> it was just... It was just my passion and something I enjoyed doing. And then, you know, what was I going to do with the pieces except put them out there? And so, um, I know lots of I've, lots of people have my heart displayed in their homes. And I've mailed art pieces off to um, lots of places around the United States. No, no place is 
international. But I did, um, about a year ago, I decided to just devote my time to just yarn only. Um, sometime in 2016, I picked up the yarn. I didn't do yarn previously. I picked that up in like 2016. And um, so I was doing yarn and art. Like I just, one day I would just put all my yarn away and paint. And then, um, but it got to where I didn't have my art in any stores anymore. And, um, excuse me. And I just, um, just decided to devote my, devote my time to yarn and make art a thing of the past. I might pull it out sometimes and paint something. I have a big unfinished painting over here that I need to paint. <laughs> I need to work on, but for some reason I never do because I'd have to like put all my yarn away and pull out all my paint. And it just isn't happening. So number three is I used to have purple hair up until recently actually. I had um, bright purple hair, and I always wanted purple hair when I was a kid, you know, and my mom wouldn't let me dye my hair purple, so I waited till I was like 40 and dyed my hair purple, <laughs> and I'm 47 now, so I had purple hair up until sometime this past year, I had a um, injury on my head, and um, I had a little hole there that didn't close up all the way. And so I wasn't going to dye my hair and let that dye get down in there. So I just waited until that closed up and healed. And now it has. And so I've kind of considered dyeing my hair purple again. But um, I haven't yet. I don't know. One day I might just pop on the video and purple hair. Um, number four is I love salads. Like I could eat salads for lunch and for dinner. Mm, my husband does not love salads, <laughs> and so, but Elijah does. Me and Elijah both love salad, and so uh, we buy groceries every two weeks, and we don't go to the grocery store in between, so when we go to the grocery store, we get salad stuff, and we'll eat salads for like a week until all that runs out, and then we go a week without salad, and then we buy some more salad stuff when we go back to the store, so, um, but I love salads, like that would be my choice dinner and when we go out to eat and my husband asked me where I want to go I base it on how good their salads are <laughs> um and number five thing number five the thing about me is I thought I would just put this on number five just because it was a five <laughs> I've had five finger amputations I <laughs> have Reynolds and lupus and so I've just lost fingers one by one and I do have a video, um, let me see if I can scoot over just a little of the glare on my glasses. I do have a video on my YouTube channel about what happened to my fingers, and I'll try to remember to link that below. Um, you can watch that and hear more about uh, my fingers. And if you have any questions about that, I don't mind answering at all. Okay, number six is uh, TV shows that I like to watch. I like to watch mystery and detective and crime shows. Um, I would pick those over anything comedy or a love show, romantic or whatever. I would pick um, a mystery or crime or some kind of detective show. <laughs> I like watching cop shows. Uh, we don't have TV in our home. We, um, we used to have a TV. Before we had a flooded in 2016, we had a TV in almost every room of the house. There was not one in the bathroom. But we have one in all three bedrooms and the den and the living room and um, what was our school room then. And um, we had TVs in all those rooms. And then we had the flood and we lost everything we owned. But I didn't want to replace TVs. I didn't want TVs in all those rooms. So now we only have a TV in my husband's room, the den. That room I dedicated to him and decorated for him and that's his room. And there's a TV in there, but it doesn't have channels. I think he might can pick up, like, a Western channel, um, something like that. Maybe one or two, maybe even three 
channels, but it's not very much. And so he has a um, Blu-ray player where he watches um, DVDs. And I think he can watch Netflix through that TV also. I'm pretty sure. And for me, I watch uh, Netflix or Hulu or Prime at my computer, at my desk, or either on my iPad iPad next to my bed. So, um, but that's the type of shows I always watch. Uh, number seven, I have had the same best friend since fourth grade. Her name is Angela. We are very close. We talk on the phone every day, sometimes more than once a day, but at least once a day we talk on the phone. And the times that we talk more than once a day, she has an odd sleep schedule because of her work. So she goes to sleep about three in the afternoon and gets up about um, nine or ten at night. And so we might talk that morning um, when she gets home from work. We might talk for a good while. And then um, she might call me when she gets up that night before she goes to work if she has something to say or whatever. Or if I've had something to tell her while she's been asleep and I'm dying to tell her, oh, you know, try my best to wait till about 10 o'clock and call her <laughs> to tell her any, you know, good news I got. So anyway, we've... Um, had lots and lots of fun over the years. We are the total opposites. Um, Angela never married. She doesn't have children. She does have some dogs. She does not have any hobbies, no crafts or anything like that. She just goes to work and goes home and watches TV and goes to bed. She And I always tell her that she never met anyone because she would have had to run over them between her house and work. <laughs> but, um, you know, we, we really don't have anything in common, such as hobbies or anything like that. But I love her to death, and I know she loves me, and we're just best buddies. We'll meet in town sometimes, you know, go eat lunch and stuff like that, or um, go do a little shopping, which, you know, I can't hold out to do a bunch of stores <laughs> anymore, but... um you know, we'll go to somewhere and then we'll go um, to a restaurant and sit and just talk for a while. And so number eight is when I was about in the fifth grade, I received a unicycle for Christmas. And so I got out in that driveway and taught myself to ride that unicycle. And then after that, um, I wore that unicycle out learning to ride it. And then I had to have another one because the seat was all tore up from falling and stuff on the first one. But then um, I started riding in pep rallies at school and parades and things like that. And it was just a blast to ride. I had lots of great fun on my unicycle. And the last time I rode the unicycle, Elijah was about 10 years old. So it's been quite a few years since I've um, rode a unicycle. And I know I couldn't do it now. <laughs> but... Um, I've been on just very high doses of prednisone for about the last 10 years, actually. And so, um, there's no way I could do it now. <laughs> okay, number nine is I love to host parties. Um, I come up with any reason to have a party. Oh, it's May the 4th. Star Wars, you know, May the 4th be with you. Um, let's have a party. And so we invite friends over and we have a bunch of foods and... You know, I make little labels and label the food Star Wars names and such, you know. Um, I love to host Mom's Night Out, so home, for the homeschool moms to come out and just hang out. Um, my kids have parties. My kids' friends have parties here. <laughs> so, um, you know, if anybody wants to have a party but they um, need a place to have it, they know they can always call me up because I'm always game for having a party. I just love having people over and we have uh, lots of seating space and our home is very, um, it's not open, but it's large rooms. Like the parlor is a big long room and it has um, just seating around. And so um, people, you know, get together in here and talk and stuff. And then we have the living room and dining room is one very big long room. So there's a dining room at one end and there's some other chairs in there and then the living room the couch and love seat and stuff you know so it lots of people can sit in there and we can even like throw in some other chairs <laughs> if needed and then the den is the next room 
and it has, you know, um, lots of seating in there also. So, um, yeah, I just love to have people over and fill up all the rooms and the more the merrier. And I wish that I had like a yarn community here that I could just invite yarn friends over to have crochet nights or knit nights or whatever you want to call it. Yarny nights. <laughs> and actually though, Sunday, um, I do have someone coming over. It's not really a friend of mine. It's a friend of my son, oldest son's. Um, she's probably my age. Um, her and her husband are divorcing and she um, crochets and... Um, so I told Dakota to invite her over for Sunday evening for a craft night so she can bring her craft crochet or whatever it is she does and um, I'll be knitting and Dakota does cross stitch and Elijah does painting, oil painting so we're gonna all just have a little craft night <laughs> with some snacky foods and stuff okay so number 10 Okay, you're all going to think I'm absolutely crazy after this, and guess what I am? <laughs> I've just been holding it under wraps. Okay, <laughs> so when I was 12 years old, I had a fish tank, and I had a very large goldfish. It was really large. I mean, it wasn't a little bitty goldfish. It was large. And so it died, and my job for that afternoon was to empty the fish tank, take it outside and wash it and clean it and all that kind of stuff. So, for some reason, in my 12-year-old mind, I thought it would be a good idea to take this dead fish and write a note with my left hand. I'm right-handed. with a no Write a note with my left hand that said, You're next. And I took this to my neighbor's backsliding door, and I taped it on her door facing in the note facing in so when she came in her carport door she would see this on her back glass patio door yeah <laughs> she come home and saw the fish and the dead fish and the note that said you're next and she called the police so um i spent the rest of the evening um Worrying about if I was supposed to go to jail or what. <laughs> so, um, my, um, friend Angela, her and her parents went out to eat every Friday night. And this was a Friday night. And so I had, went, after the police came, I had went up front in the front yard in the driveway. And there's always, I lived in a neighborhood and there was kids everywhere all the time. So it was a bunch of kids up and down the road playing and stuff. And so some came into my driveway and nobody had knew what I had just done. And then my friend Angela's parents dr drove up um, and they had her bicycle in the back of their truck. So they put her out and she could ride her bicycle home later. They put her out and so I told her what I had just done. And then here come the cops and they walked over and they're asking us did we see anybody at her house and I was, was like I didn't see anybody but I was laughing the whole time because when I'm nervous I just laugh I can't help it and so <laughs> they went back and told the lady who lived there that it was the little girl with dark hair that would be me and so <laughs> anyway so she tried to um, get it out of me the rest of the evening and they were just doing things to like scare me, you know, and everything. I went to my backyard and they were over there like fingerprinting the sliding glass door and stuff, you know, and I finally admitted up to it. <laughs> and it was no big deal. Nothing was done. I mean, what are they going to do? Arrest me for taping a fish on a door? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> I don't know what possessed me to do that. I just don't know why, but I did it. And so that story has stuck with me my whole life. Like my best friend, Angela, her dad will never, never let me live that one down. He always is talking about, you know, if I'm upset about something or whatever. He's like, well, you could go take a tape a dead fish on their door. <laughs> so anyway... That is the 10 non-yarny things about me, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and, um, you know, 
I won't um, tape any fish on your doors. So come hang out with me again. Thanks. Bye-bye.